Hi there, YTPC. Hope everyone's doing well. So this week I got a special video to share with you. Um, as if, if you've watched previous videos, you've probably heard me mention I'm a volunteer firefighter in uh, Blaisdell, New York, which is a suburb of Buffalo. Um, and our fire department this past week had a special treat. We were given the opportunity to tour and take a ride on the Edward M. Cotter Fireboat, which uh, for the Buffalo Fire Department is a working fireboat. In fact, it's the oldest working fireboat in the world. It was christened in New Jersey in 1900. Back then, it was a coal power boat. And over the last 120 years, it's been rebuilt a few a few times. Um, it was oil burning for a while, and now it's diesel engine um, fireboat. And so, anyway, this point of this video today was to tell you a little bit about the boat and to show you some pictures that I took um, from the tour, from when we uh, took the boat ride. Um, and so it was about a two-hour boat ride. We went. Uh, it's stationed right on Buffalo's Harbor. Um, which is on Lake Erie, and so we toured around the harbor a little bit, and then we went out on Lake Erie and got the opportunity to see them actually flow water. There's five turrets, turrets, uh, water cannons, basically, I think, four or five, and they were, we got to watch them flow water, and um, came back to the harbor. It was a beautiful night with our, our friends from the fire department. Got to eat dinner on board and just had a really good time. Um, it was a great experience. Uh, and so wanted to share with you a little bit about that. Uh, again, it's a, it's a historic landmark too, the boat. It's the oldest in the world that's still working. Um, give you a couple more details I have from a brochure. It's 118 feet long, weighs 178 tons. It can go roughly 12 miles an hour. Um, powered by four 12-cylinder diesel engines. Has five turrets, like the water, water cannons that can move and uh, flow different directions. And quite a lot of hose as well, many hose connections that you can stretch out or connect to other apparatus, boats. And the point of the fireboat is to not only fight fires of other boats on the water, but also originally Buffalo's waterfront was extremely bustling and busy. It was one of the busiest ports in the world in its heyday in the early 1900s. And um, uh, the point of it was so that it would fight fires for buildings and structures that were all made of wood uh, along the waterfront. And so it was very active and busy at its time doing that, not just boats. And now it's used. Sorry, trying to keep my pipe lit. Um, smoking some San Sepulcro, by the way, um, in this Rossi. I think it's an A20. Sorry for the noise. Our company is working on a, a line down the street. Um, so now the boat, the Edward Cotter, is used for, still for fires, fighting fires along the waterfront. There's still an industry along the waterfall's waterfront, a lot of warehouses, a lot of factories, um, and tourist destinations. Fights fires for other boats. Um, I think it actually would even go up to Canada's coastline, because obviously Lake Erie, um, the, the northern border is Canada. I think it can fight fires up there. But also because of the ice buildup in the wintertime on Lake Erie, uh, it's used um, to break up the ice because it's an old tugboat. I think it originally was built as a tugboat. And it's used to break up the ice to keep, keep the waterways clear uh, for other boats for passage and, and stuff like that. Because uh, there's still a big shipping industry um, on Buffalo's waterfront. So anyway, enjoy this video. Um, it's a few minutes long, not too bad. I hope you have a great week, 
and uh, take care, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Thank you.